What's up, everybody? It's been a long time, but uh, I'm gonna feed a video. Today I am doing guinea pigs. A little bit of females. Yeah. It's been uh oh she shit. I smelled it. <laughs> Uh, it's been about two weeks since they last ate, so most of them are hungry. Oh, this one's big. Sorry, I got a better grip. Let me do that with the guinea pigs, I don't know why. Think maybe the heads are too big? I don't know. Oh, we have a fresh shed. Let me see that up. Disemboweled it a little. But, uh, I thought she looked kind of bright. I knew she was in shed before. Let's take that out of there. Fresh skin. The jungle at its finest. I, uh, I cleaned cages today. Of course, uh, Jill, being her destructive self, tipped her water bowl. Uh, I'll give you this one. Um, I'm not even you know, differentiating between the medium and large rats because they're almost identical in size. I know I've said that a hundred times, but. Yeah, look at that. Not a huge difference, so uh, my 2010s are getting close to being able to handle large rats weekly anyway. Um, you know, large rats from the company I get them from. Some companies have big differences between their, uh, their, their rats. The large rats in this company aren't that big. So, I mean, look at that. That was, that's... The craziest feeding response I've ever seen from her. She peed, of course. They only go when you change their stuff. Chloe's going nuts up there. Probably gonna get really wet. Jesus Christ, hold on guys. I had to use two hands. Oh, yeah. That was nice. Took a nice chunk of fur with me. She was really hungry. I took her up before and, uh... Sorry. I took her up before and she was striking at the glass, so... It was an adventure. Um, might as well try to do tiger and, uh... <clears throat> Lola before I go on to the uh, mill rack. Tiger's in a very, very deep shed. I don't know if he's going to eat. I mean, look at that. He, you almost think he would be dead. You want that? It's not even going to smell for it. He can go and go without eating. Even when he's in a deep shed like that, he'll eat for me. So today I'm not worrying about it. 
try to give it to Paul. Ooh, I think he just struck with a glass. Yeah, I think he might be hungry. My first time ever. I'm gonna try to do this without dying. Sorry about the camera. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, Paul usually does this every year. Uh, he eats, you know, ravenously. Um, and my records show it. From July to November, he will literally eat anything you put in front of him. Which is how it should be always, but he's uh, fasting for most of the year. Like I said, they trash their cages the second you clean them and their water bowls. I know a lot of you go through that. I know I'm not the only one. Trashed. Do all this work for no reason. He's getting real big, I know you guys, uh, most of you saw my handling video. Um, he can easily take down a large rat weak. Definitely up to size. Actually, you know what I forget? He's in here. I'm still waiting on, um, Pretty Girl to give birth. I'm hoping she does it. Um, before I go back to school, it would be ideal. But um, as long as she does it, I'll be happy. She's uh, she sure is acting gravid. Um, she looks pretty fat sometimes, a lot of times. And, um, you know, she side rolls. For those of you who know what that means. And, um... She just, she does a lot of stuff that would make you think she's pregnant, but then some days I look at her and she, uh, you know, she'll just look skinny. So. He was in a little bit of a shed. Whatever. I won't waste a rat on him. Casper's probably still hiding. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I did, uh, I was getting rid of mites, and I just haven't gotten around to putting the hides back. So, most of them are still the hides. I mean, to be honest, most of them outgrew their hides. So, they weren't using them to begin with. Casper is still for sale for anyone who wants him. Again, he's a uh, 2009 breeding age ghost, 66% het moon glow. Um, he courted a female for me this year, but uh, I didn't want to breed him to the female because uh, I was breeding my hypo motley Joao to her. Um, Joao wasn't shed, so I uh, you know, put in another male. While I let him, uh, you know, go through his shed because he wasn't really interested in breeding. So, uh, 
he did uh, do a little courting though. She doesn't really use that perch anyway. Put it back later. She's starting to put on some size. She's looking good. It's turning greener and greener by the day. Loving this cage. But yeah, that's everyone. Um, Got a couple rats left over that I'll uh, distribute. We'll give on to Paul, Sebastian. Uh, you know the usual, um, the usual garbage disposals. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know. Uh, you know, keep the requests coming. I got a couple requests that I'm gonna try to do this weekend, and uh, or this week sometime. Uh, it's hard because I have work and class, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely do them, so keep them coming, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.